Ice on my knee, call this big game. Hop off a chick, belly get rich. Catch to no more, run, I get a chick. You sell and run on my pants and my jeans. She not a dress, you know my piss. I eat a flesh, you know the rest. Kind of a hundred, couple of Rolex. Shine like the sun, you truly blessed. Who's on the table? In the club, boy, like a hoop with these jets. This is on me, got my Gucci shirt with. Give me my bag, don't be used to the rest. Who with this group, what they teach you for next? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel for another vlog. If you couldn't already tell, we are in Dubai. Brianna and I are here. I'm gonna give her some privacy right now because it's very early in the morning. What time is it? 1.20, baby. <laughs> it's one. We have a story to tell y'all about our trip here. It's 1.20 in the morning though, and we both, well, she looks beautiful, but we both look a little sleepy. But we're in Dubai because we're here celebrating my birthday. My birthday was earlier this month. Um, and similar to what I did last year when I took my solo trip to Spain and Paris, I wanted to take another trip this year. Uh, I was gonna do it solo, then I changed my mind at the last minute and I called my road dog and I was like, you wanna go to Dubai? Because I really wanted to go. And she said yes and booked a flight a week later the next day the next day <laughs> so here we are we're in dubai and it's 1 20 in the morning we have been traveling for i've been traveling for 20 plus hours um brianna you're just probably closer to like what 16 yeah, 16, 16 so i left chicago i'm gonna sit down actually Bri, you can come back over here if you want to um i'm done with my room tour i just showed you guys a room tour also we're staying at the jw marriott um in dubai and it's super nice so far um <laughs> i'll turn it this way um we just got here so let me tell y'all about our travel day first of all because after this we're taking showers and going to sleep because we're both exhausted so i left from chicago i left my house at 3 30 yesterday um got to the airport my flight was at 7 p.m everything was fine like got in line, got through line got to like my bag checked in whatever when you're flying international, get to the airport early, okay? Do not play around with them because the lines for checking bags, especially for the holidays right now, are so crazy. So that was fine. So my first flight, my first flight was to Zurich, Switzerland. Um, and so that was like a standard, we got there pretty fast. I think it took us like seven or so hours to get there. And the flight actually went by pretty quickly. But like the kicker is that Dubai is so freaking far. So we had to take, Brown and I actually met in Switzerland because her flight from um, the East Coast came into Switzerland. So we met at the gate and she had a whole fiasco because there was a ton of fog over the airport. Mind you, we're like by the Swiss Alps. So I'm praying before we land that like we're not gonna run into a mountain because literally the mountains are sticking out of the clouds. It was beautiful, by the way. I think I put like some, um, some B-roll footage of it. It was gorgeous. But I'm like praying that we don't, you know, run into a mountain and we didn't, obviously. Um, but then like her flight got in maybe like, what, like an hour after mine? Yeah, like an hour. Like her flight was supposed to land at 1140. We were boarding our next flight at 1205. But they ended up delaying our next flight because of the fog at the airport. So like she, her plane landed somewhere else and she had to go through security again. Like it was nuts. But we ultimately both made it onto the plane and shout out to, we flew Swiss Airlines here. We got exit row seats for the free, which was fantastic because the way my legs were cramping after the first flight was crazy. I was very uncomfortable. Um, but the service on Swiss Airlines, I thought it was actually pretty good. Um, you know, they give you like the standard food and everything, but they give you lots of snacks. The um, stewardess, stewardesses, stewardesses, they were very nice, um, very hospitable. So I liked the service and the chairs weren't too bad for being like regular economy chairs. Um, I'm speaking it into existence that one day I will be flying to all my international destinations in business class, but that day is not today. So exit row and economy was fine. Um, but yeah, so then we had to go from Zurich to Dubai. And they were like, yeah, it's gonna be a quick flight, five hours and 40 minutes. Since when's that quick? That's not quick to me, okay? So even though the flight was shorter, it felt like it was a lot longer. And I think that was because we were like anticipating that we wanted to get here, but it just felt like we were on the plane for forever. And so, I think I made like a TikTok of like my travel day. So I left at night and it's nighttime again when we land because we've basically gone through like almost a full day and we've jumped across time zones. Cause when we left Zurich, 
the sun was setting behind us as we were flying out. So it was obviously dark when we got here in Dubai because we landed at like 1040. Um, so anyway, so we get to, we get here and then Brianna and I are like, you know, we did our research and everything and like wanted to make sure that we followed like the customs and, and made sure we knew what was going on. Um, and I didn't record like any vlog footage in the airport because you can't record in the airport. And so these people cut in line trying to go through passport uh, control or whatever. And these like the, the workers came out the woodwork and basically were like, stop them, get them. <laughs> Cause Brad and I were gonna cut too. But we're like, we can't be the first ones. We gotta let somebody else do, do it first. <laughs> And clearly they did it first and like literally somebody came from behind the counter like he literally like looked like he was about to jump over the counter He was pointing right at them and I was like, oh, yeah, no, see I'm not doing this So anyway, Brianna and I are like so focused on getting through passport control and like the people who were working it were very like serious I felt like like I like got, uh, got my passport stamp and buddy didn't even say nothing, nothing to me. He said Like shrugging me off. I said, okay, that's fine um so anyway, we're so focused on getting through passport control and like the whole time we're following the signs that say like uh, baggage claim, baggage claim, whatever. Why do we walk out of the airport and go past the baggage claim and don't pick up our bags? Cause like, and Brianna was the one who noticed cause she was like, wait a minute, everybody else has their checked luggage. And I'm like, bro, where was the luggage claim? Like all of a sudden the signs were gone. You couldn't see nothing. So anyway, fast forward, fast forward. We're, we start asking questions because we're like, we're outside the security points now, so we can't go back in. And we go to like this little stand and they're like, yeah, it's gonna take at least an hour and a half to get your bags. We were not waiting an hour and a half, okay? It's, it, at that point, it was already like 11, 15. I'm like, we're not waiting that long. So we decided to like find another solution. So Brianna and I start walking back the direction that we came. At this point, Brianna is power walking, almost <laughs> sprinting. And walk with a purpose. Well, literally walking with a purpose. And I'm like, I'm trying to find somebody who can help us. Um, and again, like, you know, you have to be cognizant of like the cultural norms here. So I'm like, I'm not trying to like yell and scream in the airport. So I'm like, I'm calling after Brianna because I see her getting further and further away from me. And I'm like, Brianna, Brianna. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just she's not hearing me um so again anyway because this is getting long so basically brianna finagles her way back into the security like uh baggage area but meanwhile i got stopped by someone they were like no you can't go over there and i was like say less i'm not going anywhere like i'll <laughs> i'll go back to where i just came from <laughs> i was not trying to get caught up in the airport like i feel like that airport is low-key like i don't want to say it's like a trap but there were definitely like little yeah there was a little spot where you could get caught up and i'm like i'm not today i didn't come 20 hours over here just to, to get into some mess um so anyway brianna i like i'm calling brianna and again like i'm using wi-fi because i don't want to use my uh, my data yet i'm calling brianna i'm calling her and brianna's like i don't want to pick up the facetime because i don't want them to think i'm recording in the airport i said oh man and i have a black bag so it took a long time to find but thank god brianna found the bags and I don't know, again, I don't know how she managed to finagle her way back through security because we would have had to go through like the full security checkpoint or wait for them to get our bags. Um, but the lesson here is if you're coming through Dubai airport, make sure you follow the signs for baggage claim because we thought we were following them and we somehow completely missed it and almost left the airport with no baggage. Um, but anyway, we took an Uber, got to the hotel. And like I said, we're staying at the JW Marriott and I really like it so far. And that is, that's kind of our first couple hours in Dubai. Yeah. Good morning from Dubai. Um, it's like 11.40 right now. And Brown and I are getting ready to head out and start the day. We got some good rest last night and kind of took our time this morning because yesterday was so long. Yesterday was so freaking long. Um, but we're going to go to brunch and cake to get some breakfast slash brunch. And then we're gonna spend the entire day at the Dubai mall. <sighs> I'm so excited because I think Dubai mall is the biggest mall in the world and they have like all these stores that I haven't been to the store for until like some of my favorite brands. So that's what we're gonna do today. And then I think we're just gonna hang out by the mall to get breakfast, or to get breakfast, to get dinner. As well, I'm gonna turn you guys around so you can see the view out of our hotel room. Um, this is what we're looking at, it's sunny. But over there, I think that's the Burj Khalifa. Over there, and then like the mall, all like the social stuff is over that way. And then if you look out over here, looks like just residential area and then obviously like the water you can see probably can't see some of the boats out there and then all the traffic and everything down below um it's a pretty nice view though i think um like i zoomed in um we can see like a lot of construction from where we're at, where we're at but 
but that's fine. I don't really care much about the view because we're here to go experience the city. Um, I'm wearing just a brown bodysuit and some cargo pants, normal jewelry. I actually got this ring from Banana Republic that I think I showed in a video that y'all would have seen by now. And I actually just got a haircut. Um, I got my hair cut like two days before I came here. So the curls are curly right now. But anyway, um, I'm gonna be vlogging on my other little camera. So hopefully the quality looks good, but I'm hungry and we wanna start the day. So I'll see you guys later. Last week and ain't already best friends She's a toy, just stay freshman Told her I'ma pull up at your place at 10 Girl, you look good, I won't risk everything Make me forget what safe sex is Okay, so Brianna and I just finished having lunch Or brunch at Brunch and Kate, which was, what do you rate it? Eight Okay, I give it like a solid nine, it was really good And we just got to the Dubai Mall Which is overwhelming already because it's literally so big um, But we're about to just shop all day long so I'll probably just do like a montage of music over it to show you guys everything. But this place is insanely big, like it's nuts. But we're excited to shop, so. Home hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches a set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would have went corporate. She wish I would have went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Chef Lee, boy, I'm on back. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block. Cause you know how sticky it get. Hey. 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 You know sticky it get. Hey. You know sticky it get. Hey. You know how sticky it get. Hey. You know how sticky it get. Hey y'all, so tell me why I'm sitting here next to Brianna and this fool is talking to me, gonna ask me a question and then starts falling asleep in my face when I answer the question. <laughs> She's got the itis. Um, so as you guys saw, we went shopping all over the mall. We've been here for eight hours almost and there's probably still things that we haven't discovered in this mall because it's so expansive it's huge there's like four different levels every like store unit is filled with some brand um we're sitting in bloomingdale's right now because we needed a break after dinner um and i got a couple things which i'll do like a little unboxing when we get to the hotel but then we went to this place called ofk for dinner which was really 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 good the portions like they weren't even that big right no they were filling yeah the I already recorded this. I'm recording it again because we're sitting in a quiet place now. But basically what I said earlier was that the shrimp gyoza that I got, 10 out of 10. The lobster fried rice, I give it like a 9.5, 9 out of 10. The only thing is it came with a beef bone marrow on it. And I honestly don't know what that would have added to the dish except for like to make it more oily. Um, so I told her I didn't want the beef bone marrow. But the lobster fried rice by itself was fantastic. And I feel like... The prices weren't horrible. It's definitely a place where like you're meant to like get like a lot of, like it's almost like not necessarily tapas style because they're not that small, but you can get a whole bunch of plates and share them basically. I forgot what it's called, family sharing. Yeah, but I feel like in America like family sharing is like huge portions versus this was like this was like smaller plates, but you could definitely like get one one or two plates and that's enough for one person. Um, yeah, and it was fire. Also, tip, um, don't show me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brown doesn't want to be seen right now. She's very tired. <laughs> Don't buy anything on sale unless you're sure you're not going to return it. 
yeah, that's a sore time for another day when the when the mood has subsided. But yeah, don't be careful of the uh, of the sale items, basically. Um, but anyway, like I said, it's like 10 o'clock now. The mall doesn't close till 11, I don't think. Um, but it's time for us to get up out of here. We were gonna go to the fountain show, but we're just very tired. Um, this place is like a fever dream. It's like not even real. They have everything. Literally, they have everything in here. Like, it's crazy from food to like brands, everything. Like, see, Brianna, she just, she just got woken up by a shoe she never seen before. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go back to the hotel now because we're both stuck. We just want to do a little bit of walking. Um, and I'll show you guys what I got when we, got, when we get back to the hotel. Hey y'all, good morning. Um, we're on the bus right now, so I'm not trying to talk too loud. Uh, I do have a shirt on, let me see. I want to dress right now. Um, but today is our second day in Dubai. Um, today is, I have no idea what today is. I think today's Wednesday, it's Wednesday. Um, and we are on our way to Abu Dhabi. We're doing a full day trip in Abu Dhabi. Um, and we just finished, we did, we did like a, a tour through TripAdvisor. Dhabi, y'all, and this is like, look at this background. We are at the, I'm gonna say this so wrong, Qasar Al Watan Palace. This is the presidential palace here in Abu Dhabi, where the sheikh and the family live. It is absolutely stunning. I should have worn a different color today because I'm like blending in because everything is white. Um, but it is, it's so gorgeous here. Brianna's over there in the corner, also getting her her flicks. Oh, there she is, making an appearance today. Um, despite our chaotic morning, it worked out, y'all. Look at this. I can't even. What? Do you see this? This is nuts. It's so pretty. I'm trying to get like vlog footage in my phone at the same time. So I'm gonna be looking crazy all day today. Um, there are rules here, so you have to have, you don't have to cover your hair, but you have to have your, your shoulders covered, but you can't have your hair out. And then um, like technically like full tours aren't allowed. So our guide is just kind of walking us around and then you just have to be very mindful of like being quiet and stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna record the whole thing, maybe montage it, but it's absolutely gorgeous.
mosque um, and we are doing the walk to basically get over there because you have to go underground and then the guy said it's like a one kilometer walk to actually get to the mosque and my scarf is falling so I didn't fix it because my hair is showing a little bit um, but it's an indoor walk thank god because it is hot outside um, also I think I'm going to put the video in so you have to be covered as a woman um, from basically like your entire body and you have to have your hair covered but I have on a white linen shirt and he was saying that he was a little worried because it was transparent so just be cognizant of like not wearing things that are considered transparent um, but the guide was very very kind and he wrapped my, my hair for me um, which was really nice and so now like I said we're making the, the trek over to the mosque I'll turn the camera around so you guys can see but it's like an underground tunnel right now so we're on like a moving walkway and that's how you get there To be able to walk around the mosque, it's almost like a big square because the center is, I believe, where prayer is conducted and you're not allowed to walk in the center where prayer is. But we've been able to get some really good photos. Our tour guide, okay, um, our tour guide, whose name is Ramadan, I think I said that before. You know, he's getting some good angles. He zooms in quite a bit. So Brianna and I are having to kind of update our photos as we go. Um, but y'all, it is absolutely gorgeous in here. Like, everything was built by hand. They said it took 11 years, I think, to build the entire mosque. And it's, it's like breathtaking. It's insane. Um, obviously, there's, there's tons of people here. But we came later on in the day. It's like after 3 o'clock right now. And that's what time our tour came here. Because we went to the other Abu Dhabi stops um, earlier. Um, but yeah, it's been great. It's been a great tour. I would... Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get through security. Hold on. Excuse me. Um, I would highly recommend if you're in Dubai to try and come to Abu Dhabi, y'all, because it's it's amazing. Hey, y'all. So we are back in the hotel. Um, what time do we get back here, Brie? Like six something? No idea. Okay, it's fine. That's fine. Um, it's like 8.15 right now, so I'm assuming we got back around like 6.30. The tour today, 10 out of 10 from me. What would you rate it, Brie? Definitely 10 out of 10. Okay. Well, I was, <laughs> yeah, I would say 9 out of 10, but then our tour guide made it a 10 out of 10. Why only a 9? I'm just because it was hot. Okay, yeah, it was hot, but our tour guide. And also, he couldn't really, sorry, in Go one ahead. of the spots, he couldn't, like, tour us, the first one. Oh, yeah. He couldn't tell us anything because of the rules so that gave it a little a reduction true still highly recommend though regardless um it was really enjoyable like i said our tour guide ramadan was great um we just got like a little snack in the hotel um if you ever come to dubai and you stay at this hotel there's like i think i don't know if i said this already but there's like 17 restaurants in the hotel plus a lounge so we got that and we're not super hungry so i think we're gonna go out and like just try to find Maybe like some dessert or something, or maybe like a little rooftop bar. Because yeah. things stay open pretty late here, and it's only, like I said, it's only 8.15-ish. Um, so we're just going to do something light. But today was great, honestly. Like, it was really fun. I felt like it was really informative. I feel like I learned mm -hmm. a lot about the culture of the UAE and, like, the history and everything. Um, sorry, I'm watching Brianna struggle to put this claw clip in her <laughs> Also, the conundrum with the sandals, y'all, I know I didn't really go into it in detail yesterday, but let's just say it ended up working out well today. <laughs> so all is well in the world of the sandals and Brianna's feet. Um, I probably won't vlog. Well, should I vlog where we're going yeah. as a recommendation for a spot? Yeah. Okay. I might vlog a little bit. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on the day. It was so fun. Like I said, highly recommend doing the daytime tour. I'll probably put the links to all that stuff. Well, they have a nighttime. Try out the nighttime too. Maybe because remember the lights fall with the crescent of the moon or something like that. That's true. The day or nighttime, I highly recommend just doing like a day trip to Abu Dhabi. I think it's totally worth it. Um, yeah. 
but I'm gonna charge my camera because it's about to die. This little pocket camera has come in so clutch. I need to like work with it a little bit because when I flip the camera um, like to the other direction, like the opposite way, it gets a little finicky. Um, but this camera is great. Okay, I'm rambling. I'm gonna get off here yeah, now. Yeah, I like Oh, Brianna likes it too. Okay, there we go. She likes the camera, she likes the sandals now. She's in a great mood. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the wine definitely helps. Yeah, this we'll talk about some last night. She was like, if I say I'm done, don't let not like with, with alcohol, but with food. She was like, if I say that I'm done, don't let me overeat anymore. We go up to the lounge. She's like, oh, this wine is kind of strong. I don't think I want anymore. The waiter comes over. He said, can I get you anything else? I'll take another glass of wine. <laughs> like if indecisive was a person, it would be <laughs> Brianna. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get off here. I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Good morning from Dubai. It is day, it's day three, right? Yes. Day three. Um, it is, what time is it? Let's see. Well, are we counting Monday as a day or not? No, because I feel like we're only here for like a few hours on Monday. Okay, I'm seeing the day. Yeah. Okay, so it's 10.53 and we are in the car right now headed to our desert excursion. So today we're going to be riding ATVs, which Brianna and I have both agreed that we're going to be riding them slowly. <laughs> With helmets. With helmets, for sure. Um, they have like a barbecue like dinner um, we're gonna be there basically all day I like that today we started a little bit later than you we did have yesterday lunch, snack, you know? lunch. Yes. thank you um, I will tell you all the activities what will you have there okay sounds good let me, <laughs> let me pick up uh, two more people and after that I will. okay Hi. sounds good thank you but as for me you should have a single single quad bike not a double for two yeah. I think it's not fun <laughs> but you know why when the bike will have a load so of course yeah. You, uh, you have to drive on a flat. <laughs> you should keep the single thing up before coming um, So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, it is... Because you can do the dual biking and like, you can go up and down. Okay. Of course, you are, uh, you're not going for like a, like a normal drive. Am I right? Yeah. You're going for the like desert riding and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you want to drive on a dunes and down and yeah? So yeah. That's why you have it. I'm scared though. <laughs> you ain't scared, but it's, 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 it's an adventure. Adventure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you can ride on a roller coaster. Oh I gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a better than roller coaster. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, the driver said it's like a 45 minute drive out there. Um, so I'm excited. I think they have camels, like, we'll see. I've never been, well, I've been to the desert like in Arizona, but I was never out here, so. We'll see how it goes. Brandon and I are excited to go on another adventure. And mm -hmm. then tomorrow's like a chill day so we can relax after all the, the craziness that we've had. But yeah, that's what we're doing. So I'll see you guys when we get Yo, there. Yeah, we're gonna have the back. Y'all, yeah, we're out here in the desert and it's freaking hot. Okay, Brandon and I are doing the ATVs that are over there and right here why did why did our, our, our guide come over and be like you need to go faster because we were going so <laughs> slow because they're really hard let's go out the way I almost fell off twice they're really hard to use that. uh but there's Bree she's looking fabulous let me see let me get a full body period period it's giving Arabian princess um but it's so freaking hot out here <sighs> there was no point in wearing my hair down today because it's hot outside but Brianna just took some portrait photos Tea. Um, but yeah, it's so hot. It's so what hot. Just jump. Yeah, taking pictures right now. Okay. In your bag. Let's see. Together. Together? Yeah. She she can do it. It's just her. It's okay. Tell me when to go. One, two, three, go. Very nice, Bree. Okay, so we're at our second stop of the day. So how it works is basically they take you to like different locations. Um, so we did the dune riding first on the ATVs, and now we are here at like. I think the dune riding and ATVs are two different things. Oh, well, we do the ATVs. I don't know if we're doing dune riding. I probably won't do it if we are, if it's different. Um, 
but now we're here and we're gonna ride some camels. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna ride it. I might just watch free ride it. Well, oh, we'll see what this is what it looks like. Not Brianna trying to peer pressure me. What are the? Don't yell at me in my vlog. <laughs> just kidding. She's not yelling at me. But there's like animals out here. I don't even know what we're looking at. Oh, henna. Okay. Okay, go in the front. How are you gonna put me in the front when I didn't even want to do it? Not me, literally on a camel with Brianna. <laughs> we got her on it. We're on Sheila. Sheila's giving us a ride today. She's our Uber today. Just call me Bree, the Jackie Whisperer. You're annoying. <laughs> it's Bree, the Sheila Whisperer. Like we're so high up off the ground. Y'all see my feet? We're so high up the ground, and I'm so scared. But we're doing it. I think this We're in the desert still. I see it. Y'all see it? <laughs> oh jeez! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! They're very calm though. Like they're not too bad. I would check it later. Yeah, she wasn't having it. And like when they first get up, it's kind of scary. It was kind of scary, but I'm kind of scared for when we get down because they're just gonna fall. But it's nice. They're friendly. Hi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Don't bite. Please don't bite me. <laughs> I love it. We've got really cute little like, noses. We got some Arabic food, like a barbecue. So I just got salad, um, some bread, some saffron rice, and Brianna got the barbecue. But it looks amazing. Oh my god! <laughs> now he's got the reviews out <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, maybe the brownie wasn't a good idea. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing we can't go for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I give it a 10. Yeah, honestly. The food took it up to a 10 for me. Yes, yeah, However, we just did like the rough riding through the desert to end it out after we ate, and I'm going to throw up. <laughs> um, we're all in the car, struggling. Sorry, I had a call. <laughs> no worries. But I'm fanning myself right now because. I'm just still thinking about review and <laughs> But it was great. I got back to so good. <laughs> <laughs> afternoon time good afternoon it's day whatever day it is that we've been in Dubai I think it's day four and we are at Drift Beach Club today Brianna, need, Brianna and I need some R&R &R after our strenuous adventures for the last two days um, which is perfect because we're both exhausted rest and relaxation 
um, which is great because we're at a beach club today. We made a reservation online. Um, like I said, we're at Drift, which it's really nice. I think I put in some shots of like how it's laid out and the vibe and everything. It's definitely like more relaxing. It's not like a party beach club, I would say. Um, so we have the pool option to the left, and then we have the beach, which is like right in front of me. Um, the marina and everything is out there. So we'll probably make our way down to the beach at some point. Okay, the music is getting louder. Um, but this is nice. So I made a reservation online. And there's a couple different packages that you can have, but we got like just the regular pool chairs. So we're not directly on the pool, we're right off the pool. And these were about $40 per person to reserve. And then they have a like poolside menu that you can use. Um, to get like snacks and drinks and they actually have a restaurant uh, as part of drift where you can go and actually like eat lunch and everything so the food and beverage are not included in the chair package which is okay um but Brianna and i will probably at some point go over there to just get some lunch um just like eat an actual meal but for right now we're just tanning i got a chair that was like directly in the sun which was probably not the best idea let it be known that Brianna tried to tell jackie out of this chair but here we are do you feel, you feel good about that? I do. <laughs> no, but it's fine. I wanted to tan. Um, and I'm already sweating. I can see it in my swimsuit, but I'm going to get in the pool to kind of cool off a little bit. But yeah, we're just going to have a, a chill, relaxing day. We might go back to the mall later on. We do have dinner reservations tonight at 745. So it's just going to be a chill day. Then we'll go to dinner later. And it's going to be a vibe. So yeah. So Bri and I have been at Drift for, how long have we been here? Like maybe like three or four hours? Yeah. Something like that. So we decided to come down by the beach. Also, I don't have my swimsuit on anymore because I decided to take a dip in the pool, which was very nice. But then a cloud came over and I got really cold. And then we decided that we wanted to go to the mall. So I had to take it off. So I just put on my outfit that I had on before. Hope you guys can hear me because it's a little windy. But we decided to come take a walk down by the beach y'all. And look at this, look at all the yachts. Let me see if I can zoom in. All the yachts out in the water. There's a Ferris wheel down there. There's Brianna looking fabulous. It's just such a vibe. We're so glad that we ended up coming here. It has actually been like very, very relaxing. We didn't get a lot of food because low key the food here is kind of expensive. And I feel like it was good, but I don't know if I want to pay like more for the food that they have. So we decided to just like get some snacks at the mall and then upgrade our dinner reservation. But I feel like now would be a great time since I'm by the water and feeling all, you know, whatever to be all like sentimental i'm here celebrating my 27th birthday with my best one of my best friends um one you would really be my best friend you know this <laughs> stop I'll ignore her friends. ignore her one of my best friends um and i'm just so grateful to god i feel like 2023 has truly been like a transformative year for me and especially since we're at the end of the year like i just feel so blessed and so full not only for the things that I've done and I've accomplished, but because I've worked on getting closer to God this year, like I just really feel right now at a place of peace and happiness. Um, I've done a lot of things this year. I got engaged to the love of my life this year. Oh, I don't have my ring on, sorry, Josh. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I just feel very fulfilled right now and so blessed to be here in Dubai, seeing another continent with my best girl. Like last year we decided to travel and now here we are a year later, like, Trepassing through the world and it's just it's crazy Brie and I were just reflecting the other day about like how much life can change and just like how good God really is so I just we I just feel so blessed and Brianna feels blessed as well and okay I'm getting my feelings now but I just had to get that out at some point during my trip um but anyway like I said we're over here putting our feet in the water I'm pretty sure this is the is it the Arabian Sea This is a body of water. The body of water, we're not sure which one it is, but it is a body of water here in Dubai. I can tell you something, it's not the Atlantic. I know that. I know that. Um, okay, but anyway, I'm out of my feelings now and we're just gonna take a little stroll and then head back to Dubai Mall before we go to dinner. So I'll check in with you guys later. Hey y'all, it's loud in here. Um, it has been several hours. Brianna and I once again went through a chaotic time getting ready to leave the hotel. But we are currently at dinner at the Flamingo Room. Uh, I think we're in the Palm Jumeirah area. So much traffic to get here, like 40 minutes. But we're both looking lovely, doing a little birthday celebratory dinner. We just ordered a whole bunch of freaking food and who knows if we'll even finish it. But 
we're gonna just see like where the night takes us. I don't think I'll vlog too much. I'll probably just show the food and then if we do anything after, but just wanted to give you guys an update on where we were. We went to the mall after the beach club, which in hindsight we probably could have skipped <laughs> the mall <laughs> because we didn't find anything. And once again, it was so hard to get out of there. Okay, so she found the dress that she's gonna buy back at home. But anyway, you know, Bro and I are. We live for the chaotic moment. As business women, you know, we know how to operate under. Tell me about that ring. Okay, remind me when we get back to the hotel, I'll tell them the ring story. It's loud in here. But anyway, y'all, this is where we're at. So, it is 12.57 and Brianna and I sat at the Flamingo Room, had a great time, had dinner, talked to our waiter for a while. He was very nice. His name was, uh, what was his name? Dennis. Dennis from Bosnia. He was telling us all about his girlfriend in New York. It was great. He was telling us about how LeBron, Savannah, all the stars go to the Flamingo Room, including now Brianna and I. <laughs> So we're like, oh, let's like try to do something tonight. Like, let's go out. Let's go to like a rooftop. So we come to the rooftop and now look where we are. In the middle of a little Christmas village <laughs> at one o'clock in the morning in my stilettos. Brianna has me out here walking across a little Christmas village because <laughs> the place we were going to go to was closed. So we ended up, I don't even know where we are. The Souk Medina Jumera. Who knows? But it is very cute. They have like little rides and everything it's closed now because it's so late but it is really cute like here's a, a carousel looks like they have like some carnival rides over here um like a little santa's village obviously like a christmas tree right here but this just goes to show like the chaotic nature of the things that brianna and i do because why are we at a christmas village at one o'clock in the morning in dubai in high heels in high heels and literally in dresses we just met this man who was talking to us and then proceeds to try and humble us and say that not every man who tries to talk to you is trying to date you because he doesn't believe in relationships. Bruh, please. Larry, please. Then he was like, yeah, my ex-wife and my daughter live in the States. I'm like, whoa, how did we get here? <laughs> how did we get here? <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing right now um, on this Friday night slash Friday morning in the amazing city of Dubai. I think we're somewhere near the Palm. I think um, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna walk around in a circle take in the views and then go back to the hotel <laughs> because Br neither Brianna and I are really nightclub people and now that we've given it a try and it didn't work out that's that's enough for us that's enough for us so where are the elves in the bar where do you see that the people in the set those are actual people I can't remember I can't do that I can't. <laughs> Everyone's looking at us weird because we have on like literally long dresses and high heels walking around a Santa's village. Hey y'all, it is Saturday in Dubai. Today's the 23rd, so it's one day before Christmas Eve. And Brianna and I are doing the old Dubai souk tour today. If you guys can see, it's definitely giving older traditional Dubai type of vibes versus like the very modern glitz climb of the city. So we've got like a three hour-ish walking tour. They're gonna take us across the creek. We can do like a little shopping, a little uh, like street food, tasting, all that good stuff. Uh, and we're just about to get started. So we're gonna go over and meet our tour guide. It started at this like little market area about like 20 minutes outside of the hotel. So now we're gonna go over and meet our tour guide. This is kind of like what the little area looks like. So there's tons of different vendors. You can buy like little goodies. I'm looking for, I'm on the hunt today for a caftan. I really yes. would like one. So. We need to find our tour guide so we don't get left behind. And Brianna is back there, so let's see how it goes. First of all, as I said before, the official name is not Dubai. The official name or the real name of this area is Al Wasl. Al Wasl, it's Arabic word, means connection between many sites for the caravans people. The caravans with the Bedouin in the past, they was gathering in this area to trade with, with each other. Why this area especially? Dubai Creek, the water. 1833, there is a group of 800 people, they left Al Ain, Abu Dhabi, and they arrived here with the royal family, Al Maktoum. They decided to create their own community. First clever decision they took, make this area tax-free. The neighbor they here, arrived here, so investing, trading with us. The first group there is, there is the Arab, there are the Indian, and the Persian. That's why this design is Indian Persian design. 
-hmm. Even nowadays, our culture, it's mixed, obviously. Arab in the past, we don't eat rice, but we eat bread. But now, all the main dish are rice. Even in Emirati Arabic dialogue, they use some Hindi and... All right, so now we're walking through the streets of Old Dubai. Our um, tour guide is really good. He's been really, really informative in terms of like teaching us the origins of Dubai, talking about the culture here, and like the difference between how they perceive um, law by government versus law by the religion of the Quran. So it's really, really interesting. <laughs> and I don't even know where we're we going now. Oh, we're going to the the, the textile suits. So we can do a little bit of shopping to see what they have like in the little market. So that's where we're going next. Some fresh squeezed pomegranate juice. Oh, here we go. Do it again. <laughs> Let's see how it is. Oh, shoot. I didn't mm. use <laughs> It's sweet, but it's good. It tastes really fresh. I don't know what it was. I think I have the remnants of it on my mouth. But we, um, as part of this tour, which Ron and I were both just saying, like, the tours here have been so good. Um, they give you, like, the fresh juice. So we got the pomegranate juice, and then they give you a snack. But it's not even a snack. It's, like, almost a whole meal. Um, they give us, like, some traditional Arabic tree food. There was this one item in there that I would, like, equate it to what I think of as, like, an empanada but it was filled with like um, spiced potatoes and it was fantastic. Like a nine out of 10, honestly. Brianna's eating it right now, so I'm just curious to see what her reaction is. I'll let you chew though, I won't show you. Jackie. What? I don't taste any spice in this. I don't like spice, so everything is spicy to me. If it has a little bit of spice, it's spicy to me, okay? But is it good though, do you like it? It's good. See? It was so good. Hello. You know, I told you it was like on a on a realistic scale, it was like a two. But for me, a two was like a seven. So it was so good. Um, our tour guide has been great. The, like they gave you like the little fried potato thing. They gave you a wrap with falafel and vegetables inside, and then they give you I don't know what the last item was, um, but it's all vegetarian and it's like a big portion. So I was and I was just saying to Brianna like I'm super hungry, and they gave us like a, a pretty healthy portion of food. So like I said, right now we're at the textile soup. Um, and we're sitting here, it's very busy. Um, we get to like, this is the market, and then we're gonna get on one of those boats out there that's in the water. We're gonna take one of those to the spice market next. But right now, we're kind of just like hanging out for 20 minutes while people shop. About the boat. We're not, Brianna and I are gonna be holding hands on the boat. We're both, mm -hmm. we're both scared. Um, but so far, the tour's been a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for sure. We'll see, we're both waiting to get to the gold suit to get something, like to buy some items. So we'll see, our tour guide is also giving us tips about how to purchase things at the suits. So that's helpful. Oh, look at all these, oh my God. Nope, see, absolutely not. Nope, look at all the birds over there. Y'all, this is crazy. We're taking the boat. We're taking the boat to the next suit. And the guy was like, here's some water so you can feed the birds. Uh, what? No, absolutely not. Look at all these birds. Do you see this? This is crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I'm weak. I'm weak. These people are here calling me and brown, brown sugar. And Shakira. Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. That is. That is. No, thank you. That is hilarious. hilarious. L O L O L. I didn't think he was serious about that, but. So to provide some context, our tour guide did tell us that like when you go into the suits, like don't be surprised if they just start calling you random things. Um, he did tell us Shakira, but we were here and brown sugar. So we were walking through the spice the suit. Lies, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> we were walking through the spice suit, just trying to see like what they had, and literally people like are on you as soon as you start bum walking. Rushes. Bum rush you, and they were like Shakira, Shakira, Black Beauty, Black Beauty, beautiful, baby, beautiful. I just did uh, a dodge that um, who dodges in a sport? What sports team? Ducking and weaving. I don't know, but it was like the Matrix. Like that the lacrosse teams would be proud of. The lacrosse dodge. 
Anyway, what's the point? <laughs> Get to the point. <laughs> the point is, uh, excuse me. The point is, though, that we were... I don't know how we're supposed to get back. I mean, on the outside? We were bobbing and weaving, basically, uh, to get through there. And it was like, it was fast, too. It's not, it didn't even take that long, but it was an experience, y'all. Something that we're going to go to the gold suit and try and buy, but he told us what store we should go to. But, like, I, will, I don't know if I'll ever have that experience or if I've ever experienced anything similar in my life, but, I feel yeah. like you should walk back through just to give the people what they want. Hmm. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> It was a lot. It was a lot. Let's see how much more I can record this time. So cute. We made it back, y'all. And we were tired. We sat in traffic for how long, Brie? Girl, I don't even know. So first of all, the tour stopped like, not like randomly, but we were we were not like we thought we were gonna go back to where we started. If you take this tour, you will not go back to where you started. You'll basically <laughs> stop inside of the gold souk, which makes sense because then you get a chance to like go shopping and stuff. Um, but you guys saw the little bag that I showed you. So Brandon and I, uh, our I said it like three times already, but our tour guide Hamsa was really really good. Um, our tour guides have been amazing. Yeah, they really have. Um, like 10 out of 10. Like, you should drop their phone numbers, their WhatsApp numbers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, but we were talking about the gold suit because we didn't want to buy any, like, spices or anything. Well, we ended up buying stuff. I got some, um, like, green and mango tea. That smelled delicious. And it's supposed to be good for, like, relaxation and stress. Brianna got the, like, pure uh, menthol. And then we went to the gold suit and we were just talking to him and he was saying how... Um, he was going to take us to like a particular store that like he recommends and that's reputable. So we went to Kiki and that's how you say it, Kiki Jewelry. And we ended up standing there for like at least an hour yeah. looking around at like their different selection. And it's all in Dubai. Uh, the real gold starts at 18 carats. So it's not like the US where they have like 14 carat or whatever. It all starts at 18 carats. He told us exactly like how much the starting price should be that we should negotiate with them and they were like they were a reputable jeweler but they were open to negotiations um so we stayed in there for like an hour the service was really good people were very polite um they had a really good selection of like necklaces bracelets watches all those things i'm gonna put this up by the time christmas is over so i can show you what i got um but i was looking for a chain as a christmas gift for my fiance Brianna was looking for like a ring maybe, but she ended up getting this very, very pretty um, necklace with her birthstone in it. That's gorgeous. Um, and then I also got that bracelet that I showed y'all. So if you've ever seen like anybody with a Van Cleef bracelet, it's the same design as a Van Cleef. Like they have like Cartier designs. But if you know anything about like, uh, like designer jewelry, the upcharge on designer jewelry is crazy. So like a real Van Cleef gold, like Alhambra bracelet might cost you like a smooth, like five, $6,000. I personally will never pay that for a bracelet like that. But this one, it's not 100% the same, but it's a very similar design. Pure gold. It can get wet. You can wear it all the time. I think it was like $300, maybe like $311. And then our tour guide was like, yeah, you guys should like definitely negotiate. So Brianna and I, we were both proud of each other because we were both able to negotiate down. So like for the chain and the bracelet, I think I was able to negotiate him down like maybe like $150 altogether. Like once he added the additional discount, plus you get a 5% tax back and make sure if you're buying gold in Dubai to know that it's real gold. If it is real gold, they have to give you a certificate, like an authenticity certificate. That's how you'll know if it's real gold. If they don't give you an authenticity certificate, it's not real. Okay. So just keep that in mind. And then also just try and barter with them a little bit. We didn't, I feel like we didn't go too crazy because our guy did tell us that like if you just start out with some ridiculous price and you don't try to budge, like they'll just kick you out the store. Um, so I felt like we both were able to like walk away with a price that we felt comfortable well, with. I may have pushed it a little bit because they definitely laughed in my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, Brianna, Brianna was a little OD, but I think they knew that we were going to buy. Um, but I, I feel like, like the one that uh, Brianna was working with, like he was also very nice. Yeah. I don't think he expected her to be like such like a hard bargainer. Uh, Cause she definitely was giving him like, he said, <laughs> he said X numbers, my final price. Brenna said, that's final. Okay. Let me take it down 10 more dollars. <laughs> and he ended up doing it too. So uh, I would highly recommend you go to Kiki jewelry. We worked with, um, 
Ansar and Darvish, Darvish, I believe were their names, and they were both really, really helpful, very nice, very polite. Um, so if you ever go to the Souks, go to Kiki Jewelry and make sure you go work with them. Sorry. <laughs> Brianna's over there doing her interpretation of belly dancing. But anyway, um, it's our second to last night in Dubai. So we're both tired, but we're going to try and go out. We got a recommendation to go to this place called Cavo. So I think we're going to try that um, after we have dinner. But I'll pick up the vlog again tomorrow. So I'll see you guys later. I know, I know, I know that you're drunk. Tell me what you want after this club. You know what you're nasty. You know you're nasty. background this is this is nuts we're at Ula in the Palm Jumeirah right now which is like another I don't know if it's a beach club but it's a very beautiful restaurant attached to a the is it the Dukies the Duke Hotel um, it is gorgeous y'all it's literally giving like Tulum vibes and I got this recommendation from a mutual on TikTok and it looks amazing so far and the, the view the vibes the pictures that Brianna just got chef's kiss okay mm -hmm. so it's our last day in Dubai which we're really sad about today's Christmas Eve um, but really, we're just going to be hanging out and doing whatever today. We don't really have any solid plans aside from lunch. I think we're just going to walk around the Palm Jumeirah, maybe go up to the view, maybe let's just walk on the beach, just really chilling until we have to go to our flight later. Um, our flights, y'all, when I get back to the hotel, I might have to update y'all on the fiasco that I had with United Airlines last night that Brianna ended up taking over. I managed it from 10 p.m. to like 2.30, and Brianna took over from 2.30 to 5.30 this morning. Like... It was a disaster. Um, but you know, we're here now. I, I think we got it figured out. We have no idea. I have to check in at the airport because we still don't honestly know what's going on. Hopefully I'm on a plane back to the U.S. in the morning. Um, but anyway, it's our last day here. It's been such an amazing trip. Um, and we're just looking forward to like just having a, a nice relaxing day today. I'm wearing my new bracelet that I got yesterday at the Stoop, which I just love so much. Um, and we're both starving, so we're just going to order and eat and chill and just have a lovely day because it's been such a great vacation here in Dubai. All right, we are back at the hotel. I think the last time I vlogged was when we were at lunch at Ula. Um, so after that, Brianna and I wanted to just like have a chill vibe for the rest of the day. So what we learned, I should say, there's a beach right by Ulux that's connected to a hotel, but a lot of the beaches on, um, at least that they told us about, like the hotels on Palm Jumeirah are private, which we weren't about to pay for that. Um, so we decided to just go find a public beach. So we went to the just Jumeirah beach, which is a public beach. And it was actually really nice. Uh, it's a pretty open, I mean, it's a beach, so it's obviously it's open, but it was a pretty like expansive area I would say they have uh, a bike path like a little scooter path you can walk there's like a little like boardwalk section so you don't have to walk in the sand the water was very calm Brianna you do not have to do that <laughs> just trying to be quiet in the background um and then we just stopped and got some smoothies just like enjoyed the sunset and then we headed back to the hotel and that's all we've done today and right now we're just getting ready um prepping our things to get ready to leave for the airport because we're going to the airport um in several hours i was gonna like debrief you guys on my whole fiasco with the airlines and i just don't even feel like it because it's gonna give me a headache uh but all in all because i'm gonna close the vlog out right here dubai has been such an amazing trip this was such a great way to end out the year to celebrate my birthday to have one of my best girls with me like it was just all it was a 10 out of 10 experience 10 out of 10. honestly i feel like i learned so much um, about the culture here, about cultural norms, about the history of the city, like the history of the UAE. I don't know. I just feel like a lot like more intelligent. And I feel like you don't want to admit it, but you shed a tear at some point. I shed a tear too, but I feel like you did too. I didn't, but I... It was internal. You know how <laughs> oh, okay. New York, she cries internally. <laughs> okay. Well, Brianna shed some external tears. Perhaps I did shed one internally, but it was a great trip. Um, I would 100% would recommend you come and visit Dubai. I know that there's people have preconceived notions about Dubai, 
uh, especially a lot of Americans, but 10 out of 10 would recommend it. It's so fun. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned like everything that we did in this vlog, but I'll like have the links to all the um, excursions that we did and the places that we ate. I'll include all that stuff in the description box below. So as always, if you enjoyed this travel vlog, don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one, whenever that is.